Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a wig install by yours truly. Yes, you heard it right, girl. Today we're going to be installing this nice, long, luscious, silky highlighted wig from Tanache Hair. And shout out to Tanache Hair for sending me over this wig. Now let's get right into the install. Here's the wig before I apply it to my head and these are the items that you get inside the box when you do order your wig from Tanache Hair. Now, I'm first going to start off by just putting it on my head just to measure and see where exactly I'm going to apply the glue. I already plucked and did everything off camera because it was my first time in a minute applying a wig so I wanted to make sure that I did a pretty good job. And right now, I'm just sectioning off where I'm going to cut around my ears because, you know, you have to customize your wig to your head size. Trying to match your words with your actions. I need more than satisfaction. Did you really feel that action? Did you really wanna give your all, but flex in front of your friends. How that works? Where that you do it the most? But we take a picture, they post it. How that works? What you don't get back that shit up. Won't you say my, say my? Using my LA Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn, I'm going to be marking where I'm going to apply the glue so I don't mess up and put it too far behind the wig cap or too far down away from the wig cap. Now I'm applying the glue and I was going to do three layers but I decided on two just to keep, you know, my flexibility because I might want to, you know, switch it up for the one time. Y'all already know how to do it so I don't want to do too many layers and have it too stuck on my head but I wanted enough just for security. Now it's time for the most scariest part when sewing a wig is actually placing it down where you apply the glue. So that's why I'm taking my time and making sure I'm placing it exactly where I want and placing it where I have the marks at too because that definitely helped me so I didn't have to like go back or pull anything up and kind of mess up the whole process. I also took a rat tail comb to help melt that lace into my skin so it looks seamless and I don't have no line showing. We want to give scalp with this install, right? Not too much on the wig. It's giving it was my hair from the beginning. Now to really get that melt, you're definitely going to need an elastic band so you can make sure that that wig is nice and secured and just sink it into your skin when let it marinate for a good 15-20 minutes. I waited 20 minutes, like I definitely walked my two dogs, came back, and I still had it on. I was on my phone for a little bit, and then I took it off, and, and now I'm going to go into cutting the lace. And I want to get as close to where the hair actually starts as possible because I want to give scalp, like I said. So yes, you see me like leaving a little bit of lace, but I did go back and I did you know cut that off as well just want to take my time I went in with scissors and razors and then I'm also plucking my part as well because I want to give you know middle part for sure now I definitely want to get rid of those seamless lines so I did go back with my foundation and I just added some more just you know blend it in
Now, what's really an icy install if I didn't add no dramatic baby hairs? And you know I was struggling with this process. We're not going to talk about how one side looks better than the other. And we're not going to talk about how they're not giving sisters at all. They're giving distant cousins. But it's okay. You know, it's a trial and error. And I did use a mini flat iron to curl my edges because that does help a lot better when doing baby hairs. It just gives a more, you know, soft, subtle effect. But it's still going to give. And it definitely did. The last second I just wanted some layers. I just love when a bust down has some layers, so I had to add a little bit of something. I was really just freestyling because I was not gonna add layers in the first place, but I didn't do so much. I just did a little bit of something, not really much at all, and I just went back and flat ironed it again, you know, to make it look silky. <laughs> And this is the final result of the install. I so love this, y'all. Like, I'm really so proud of myself. Again, this is a 13 by 4 lace 22 inch wig by Tanache here. I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, me installing this wig. Like, I did my thing. I'm loving this wig, y'all. It's so silky. It's so smooth. And it's going to look good on YouTube. Again, thank you, Tanache here, for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye, pretties. Bye, cool.